It is an absolutely gorgeous weather night in Miami, and we welcome you to Dolphin Stadium as we begin our BCS Bull Bash on Fox. And we do it with a celebration, the 75th anniversary of the FedEx Orange Bowl. For Cincinnati, their inaugural trip to a BCS game as champions of the Big East Conference, and for Virginia Tech, champions of the ACC, they're in a BCS game for the fourth time. Session, so our kids will be ready to play. All right, good luck. Happy New Year, Coach. Thanks, Chris. All right, Tommy, one man can make a difference. If he gets it done tonight, they might change Mount Adams to Mount Kelly in Ohio. You're not lying about that, Chris. And now the ACC champion, Virginia Tech Hopies, take the field. A 9-4 and four record, back-to-back -back appearances in the FedEx Orange Bowl. They his first collegiate start tonight. And the end of round to Dyrell Roberts. And a big gainer all the way to midfield. 26. Watch here. The two tight ends, they're going to trade over to the other side of the line of scrimmage. And look at the block. Now Dyrell Roberts cutting inside. Number 19, Danny Cole, wide receiver with the tailback. First throw for Taylor. Good protection. Wide open, Danny Cole. All the way to the 13. Stein Spring, the offensive coordinator, says let's test the All-American tuck corner, Mike Mickens, number 21. He missed the last three games of the season due to a knee injury and had surgery. So they threw Danny Cole at him right away, and Cole won big. On a bruised shoulder, we're told, suffered by Taylor. He didn't look bruised there. As the completion is made to the true freshman, Jared Boinkin, on possession, number three, leading seven to nothing and dropped is John Goble for a loss by Macho Harris South Florida tradition ever since and tonight the 75th Taylor on first down to Cole and that's the first down out to the 39 yard line that's a well thrown ball by Taylor first down to give us to Evans his first big gainer of the night and he has a first down out to midfield possibly spy on Tyrod Taylor trying to keep him in the pocket Taylor looking for somewhere to go. It looked like he crossed the line of scrimmage. And that ball is batted down. Gain of 14, and that is a first down. How about the maturation of Tyrod Taylor? Great job by him because he approached the line of scrimmage looking him along with Cole. Taylor steps out of the pocket. And tiptoes his way inside the 10, inside the 5, touchdown! MVP. And it doesn't matter what the scouting report is, everyone knows this is where Tyrod Taylor is his most dangerous, but he makes people miss. Ryan Manilak misses. Corey Smith misses. And Taylor dances into the end zone sometimes. Just great athletic plays beat all defenses. Even posed going in. This drive at the Virginia Tech 45. Pike rolls, lost it down the sideline for Goodman. Jump ball and was it intercepted? It is an interception batted away by Harris and then Chancellor went and got it. Into the game, Cincinnati told us they would not be shy about throwing in Macho Harris's direction. But sometimes when you take on the All-American, big plays result for the defense. Chancellor with the pick. After talking to Burl Sell upstairs. After review, it was an incomplete pass. Ball will be fourth and ten on the 45-yard line on the right half. And I think. is Taylor it's in trouble still on his feet and very close to a first down depend Evans into the open field to the 45 all the way to midfield move right over here on this side and look at number 77 the left tackle Ed Wang just controls his man at the line of scrimmage to help create the crease and once Evans is to the third level it's a huge game
Pike escapes trouble. Intercepted in the end zone by Virgil. A little bit late on the delivery because you look off to the left side. Watch. And on the back side here, receiver's open right there. But the ball's late and it hangs in the air. That allows Stephon Virgil to come from a long way. And look at the offense. In the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, Ohio State and Texas, and back here for the national championship a week from tonight. The big tight end, Greg Boone, lumbering and carrying tacklers along with him. The starting tight end for Virginia Tech, it doesn't matter. They're already in a two tight end formation. He's that big. This is a guy who's a left. They like that better than pushing it from left to right. 43 yards away, and it is good on the shine himself mr chris myers he grew up in this area in nearby hollywood florida and now of course he's in hollywood california it, he years later on the bcs stage third down taylor being chased by bird slips that tackle and the ball is loose Underwood had it, lost it, now a scramble for the football. It looked like Underwood was worrying about picking it up and running just rather than falling on the ball. And we'll see whether or not that cost his team field position. And it is Virginia Tech ball. That's a going against tendencies. Boone now in what they call the wild turkey. And he fakes a handoff, and the big fellow will keep it himself. And he's rumbling inside the 35, down to the 30. Credit, but look at these guys up front and watch the hole they create. Look at that. That's wide open. Gives him a full lane to run through. And once you get 280 pounds going in one direction, a little bit tough to slow down. Holding him to a field goal attempt is a key for the Bearcats. 35 yards away, and he just snuck it in the left upright. Second down and 10, that's play action, and Pike down the middle of the field, and it is intercepted again, it's Cam Chancellor. Coverage, because they go play action, which is fine, but if you can't run the football, no one's respecting it, and Cam Chancellor has been magnificent. In the air. Says, hey, looks like they want to blitz him here. Evans still on his feet and has a first down out to the 42-yard line. They hand it to Evans. And he breaks into the open field and is all the way to the 35. Winning the battles up front, including time of possession. And more yardage on the ground. As Evans carries into Bear. Pike being chased. And was it picked off? It is an interception by Orion Martin. Lineman. This is Orion Martin, number 90. Look how he reads it because he saw it and came back to the football. He was actually standing up and working. Evans to the outside, touchdown! Watch here, and the cutback is over here. And look at that. Block it to the left side, wall it off, and Virginia Tech gets it done. Mike on the keeper. And is denied the end zone. And thrown by Tony Pike. It was intercepted by Orion Martin. Evans bounces it to the outside as a first down. Pike on first down with under two and a half to play. Throws his fourth interception of the night, and this one's Cody Grimm. 
And the celebration is on in Blacksburg, Virginia. Tony Pike flushed out of the pocket again. Looking to throw the ball back inside. A very athletic play dunk tonight. There he is. Look at him. Ooh, that feels so good. Yes, it does. When you win. Chip game. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Say, say that we are looking forward to that. Go ahead. Say it. We are. <laughs> and they're looking forward to celebrating in Blacksburg and for those in Miami as Virginia Tech with four seconds remaining, including the trophy presentation still to come. Logs to the Virginia Tech Hokies. Tom? Chris Myers, thank you very much. So on their fourth try, the Hokies able to celebrate a victory in a BCS game, 20 to seven the final. Still more to come from the studio in Los Angeles. For those of us here in Miami, we'll look forward to seeing you next Thursday night in the BCS National Championship game. But again, Chris and company standing by in LA after this.